What's up everybody, it's Sparrow with a gun here from Sleepless Nights with another episode on Imperion Galactic Survival. Uh, when we left off in the last episode, we kind of completed somewhat, at least got it somewhat semi-finished. Our little cement shack here. <laughs> it's still named Shack, which is kind of funny. Um, but yeah, so the overall we started building with the standard blocks and kind of got things a bit more coherent a little bit, a little bit more squared away. Um, it's a little cluttered, a little cramped, but it works. Um, everything's nice and sealed off and, you know, there's no weird edges and things. We've got everything nice and completed, though I am still missing some cement, so that's a problem. Um, but yeah, I think this episode we're going to probably do some return to form with adventuring a little bit. Uh, but before we do that... I'm actually going to place that there. And we never really figured out, so this is going to end up being a test kind of thing, if uh, if the growing light will work that far away or if it needs to be two blocks high. I'm thinking it needs to be two blocks high. I'm not 100% sure on that though. We're going to find out though, because I'm going to place these honey plants. No, I'm not. Well, that kind of answers that. I guess it does need to be two blocks up. <laughs> uh, please don't fall on my head. Okay. Okay. So that worked. Um, let's... This will probably end up getting moved eventually, but let's for now just take out these. Oh, crap. Uh, we might not take that one out. <laughs> it took me so long to get this like set up right. I don't really want to break it. Um, so yeah, you're going there. Uh, for now, yeah, let's just leave it like that. We're not going to do anything too spectacularly crazy. Actually, I'm going to probably make a mess of my former build here uh, because I need this to work correctly and it's not. So, Got that. Got that. Place that there. Lights. Huzzah! Okay. It's ugly. It works. Um, yeah, so I have a core with me just in case we end up kind of running across some stuff. I don't actually know what I did with my bike, though. Is it still out here? I don't see its little waypoint anywhere. Normally it has a green little waypoint. Um... Let me check. Nope, not that one. Um, how about this one? Nope, not that one either. Ooh. Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. Um, well, that's not good. I kind of need to know <laughs> what I did with my bike. Uh, it's not there. I must have left it outside, but I don't see it anywhere. Did they change the waypoint thing? It's supposed to have a little green waypoint marker. I thought I left it out here. Somewhere. Over the rainbow, I guess. Um, that's kind of odd. Like, I really thought I left it out here. And if I didn't, then I don't know what I, where I would have put it. It's not in my inventory, it's not on my hotbar. Huh. Well, that's, um, different. A case of the missing bike, I suppose. I didn't somehow throw it in here or in here. Oops. Oops. Wrong buttons. Nope. Dang, nab it. There we go. Oh, I got food poisoning. Use an appropriate route. Why did I get food poisoning? It's been in the fridge. Parish times 13. It should be fine. Great. Um, doesn't something I have... Open wound. Poisonous bite. I thought something I had cured food poisoning. Do I not? Anti-radiation. Emergency antidote for food poisoning. There we go. Nope. Stop. There we go. I thought there was a plant that I had that did that, though. I'm very confused about where my bike went, though. Like, did I 
miss it? Was I looking at it and I just didn't see it? Because I don't see it anywhere. I'm, you know what I'm wondering? I'm wondering if they did some update and it had to do with the bike. And it makes me wonder if something they updated actually, like, reset it and now it's not here. That's kind of what I'm wondering. That's what I'm, that's what I'm thinking. Um, so, I gotta figure out what I'm actually wanting to tackle. I don't think... Could go mining, I suppose. Could go investigate the Crash Titan. Well, it was gonna go a lot quicker with my <clears throat> motorcycle. Seriously, that that's it's got to be something in the update. They had to have broken something or changed something to the point that it respawned my bike or just deleted it or something. Because I could have swore I left it outside somewhere nearby. And it is nowhere to be seen. And it doesn't even have its little marker anymore. Okay, anyways, I guess we're hot-footing it. But the humanoid alien and the insect, I think both of those are night creatures. Humanoid alien insects can be found in the tropical forest at night. Yeah, that's all night stuff. Um, that's, I think, not here. Clans? Visit Talon Settlement. Visit the villages. We could try and do that, I guess. What do I get for that? Reward is bad karma. Oh, chapters. Rewarded chapters is bad karma. Okay. What are you? Oh, kill alien insect, but that's night. Everything's at night, and it just became day. Um, drone hunter. I don't think I really have any missions that I can do, actually, other than visiting um, those places. So I guess we'll set that one as the... As the mission, that's cooking stuff, and that's Omicron. Now, I thought you got... Actually, you know what? Let me just check before I go running off. Let me see what it costs to make another bike. Because it might be pretty cheap. And I'll feel really stupid if I just run off and then it's actually pretty cheap to make a bike. Um, let's see... Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Components... There's like a kit, motorcycle kit. Um, I guess we'll just do that. And then that's the motorcycle, so I need the kit for that. Alright. Um, yeah. So I guess we're gonna be looking for those Talon villages, because I don't really have a whole lot of assault missions that I can do until nighttime, which kind of sucks. Uh, we'll put that in there, and then we'll build one of those. Um, supposedly, though, there was an update I say supposedly as in, you know, it did or it didn't, but it actually did. It was a thing. Um, I don't know entirely what all changed and what all they did. But one thing is the sound's supposed to be less drastic on the, on the bike. Which it does sound like they fixed it a little bit. Because the sound on the bikes were pretty darn loud. I think we're gonna go out to the right and just kind of swing around this way. Looks like we haven't really explored that direction yet. Oh, and the bike controls are supposed to be a little different now, too. I don't know, again, to what end they changed things. Ooh. But they didn't change things. Wait, whoa, what was that? What was that screechy thing? Oh, that thing! That is. Wait, is that the insect thing? Don't tell me that's the insect thing. Plant monster. Okay, not insect. Good. Okay, so good news is we found a large outpost. Bad news is I have no idea if it's hostile or docile. Getting overtly attacked yet. So that seems like a good sign, right? 
Now, I don't know. I think they did the big update where uh, now there's like supposed to be NPCs and things. I think they did that after... Uh-oh. Um, after I loaded or started this game. Maybe not. No, because I went back and started over. So I think the NPCs are supposed to be here? Maybe? I don't really know, to be quite honest. I don't know if that happened before or after I started this new playthrough. Either way, definitely have stuff we can loot. <laughs> um, like fridge. Eat that. Yep, that's... Actually, we're gonna take those. Um, yep, I belong to the other faction. More antidote pills, that's good. Okay. Um, that's the medical area over there. They got some cool stuff, though, like design-wise. There's some cool areas here. Ooh, chest. Oh, no, that's a table. Oxygen tank boost. Ooh, that's cool. Why not? Actually, I should have not eaten that, actually. I should have eaten the other ones. The salami thing would stay longer. Oh, well. Whatever. What are you gonna... Oh, it's wind. I was like, what is growling at me? <laughs> I thought it was some, like, monster that snuck up behind me and was growling. Ooh, more stuff. Sweet. Okay, now we're getting more... To... That's a cool building, by the by. Okay. Oh, flower... Kavea beans. I don't even know if I'm saying that right. Was it? Oh, medium armor. Hello. Night vision goggles. What? Item used for seeing better during the night can be activated by the same key that is also used for player lights. Toggle between player lights and night vision. Item has to be in the inventory and you have to wear your helmet. Oh. So it's toggling it, but it won't actually turn. A Wait, maybe it's not toggling it. Yeah, I don't think it is, because I don't have my helmet on. Hmm. That's an interesting trade-off, because if I have my helmet, then I have to be using up my air supply. What is that thing? So much stuff here. Ooh, what the heck? Okay. That is awesome. I want one. You need to know what block that is. Uh, viewers, educate me. <laughs> whatever, uh, whatever block that is. I want to know what that is. Because I know if you right-click them, it changes... Ooh! It changes kind of what they can do. But I've never seen some of this stuff before. Th okay, those I've seen. Um, but some of these are completely new to moi. So, yeah. If you guys know what some of this... I mean, obviously these are like console decorations and things, but some of these aren't highlighting. So if you guys know what they are, it's particularly that circular hologram thingy, uh, I'd like to know. And I can't help but notice I haven't seen a single person. Ooh, armor boost. I like that. Heavy armor. Ooh. That's cool. I don't know what the actual trade-offs are, though. Um, obviously the armor durability and defense is gonna be higher. I guess maneuverability? Food factor? Oh, and heat. Oh, so there's a lot of factors in changing your armor up. Heat is 40, heat's 25, food factor is 2. I don't know if that means, like, it consumes food at a higher rate. Stamina factor... Too cold is 40, too cold is 55. Interesting. So that's curious. Uh, what goes up here? Anything cool? Or is it just a balcony? It looks like just a balcony. This takes us outside. Oh, look at all the wind! That's... new? 
right? I don't remember that being there. That's pretty awesome. They oh, I found the place to loot. I found the place to loot. Do da do da. I found the place to loot. Oh dee do da day. Look at all the crates. Look at all the crates. I'm gonna take it all to my base. Oh dee do da day. I don't know. Um, some of this I don't really need. Yeah. Now we're talking. Stuffing things. Um, come on now. Nope. I need to eat that. Why let it go to waste? Effective against food poisoning. I might keep that. Uh, choices. Decisions. Pandemonium. Um, yeah. I'm just gonna eat that. Stop giving me new stuff, Dagnabbit. Uh, no, I'm, I, no, don't, don't stop. Don't stop doing that. Um. I'm just, like, gorging myself. Ooh, what is this? Multi-tool, but that's only a one. Yeah, I already have one. I'll leave it. I was gonna say I could probably take it back and, um, disassemble it, but, meh. I don't really need it. There's so many things! All of the things. I don't really need this stuff, I guess. I'd rather have this stuff. Um, what is this? Biofuel? Eh, we'll hang on to that. Uh, I wish I had a... Wait, can I put... St I can't put stuff in the bike. I don't think. That would be cool. Um, hardened steel, plate, gold, or... I mean, I don't really need that, I guess. Oh, wait, did I? No, I didn't put that in there. Okay, okay, we're good. We're good, people. Uh, we got everything looted. I mean, um, investigated. That's what I meant. Investigated. Yep. Definitely that. Oh, and I don't know what made me think of this all of a sudden, but while we're exploring, um, I got a comment that said in my last video, the... The sound was like quiet at the very beginning of each little clip. Um, I apologize for that. I will hopefully be able to remedy that. Ooh, this is new stuff too. I'll hopefully be able to remedy that in this one. Um, it's actually not a mic issue or anything. It has to do with something in Premiere that when I go to render the videos and I'm editing them, for some reason, I don't know why, it could be noise reducing effects or things that I put on it and it's trying to calculate how it meshes with the effects. I don't really know. Um, I've tried to figure it out and I thought I had it and sometimes it still gets by me and still acts weird. I'm not really sure what causes it. Um, but essentially there's some kind of thing that happens in Premiere where when I go to edit the files and I throw it all together oh that's the that's the core. I was like what is this? Uh, when I throw it all together, it basically ends up doing this weird thing where the first part is kind of quiet and then when you let it play for a second, um, then it like gets louder. And as long, normally, as long as I make sure I've played through the videos, or at least long enough that the sound kicks in, and then I go and immediately render it after that, um, it usually has been doing fine. So I guess one just got past me and I was editing late and tired or something and I just missed one or something. I'm not really sure what happened on that one. But, so anyways, if you notice that, um, hopefully I will be able to fix that in this one. Uh, but like I said, normally I'm, I, I've been doing pretty good about catching it and making sure that it doesn't do that. And I guess this last one I just missed it or was not paying attention or something. Or it did something weird and it just did it anyway, even though I did all of my uh, workarounds. So I don't know. I've, I've never really quite been able to figure out why it does that. If you're like a audio video editing expert and you've encountered that before, do let me know what's causing that. And if not, I hope you don't uh, hope you don't hear it, because that would mean I didn't fix it. All right, so we explored this. Um, I'd like to kind of keep exploring, but honestly, I don't have any inventory space, so I'm concerned about. Hey, what the heck? That was weird. 
Um, I'm a little concerned about uh, continuing to explore. So I'm thinking we might just kind of spin around and try and head back through this little loop here. And see if we can manage it. Maybe if we run into some nighttime thing or whatever, then we'll, then we'll try and get some of these alien hunts out of the way. So I just arrived back at my base and for some dumb reason I just realized what happened with my bike. Um, something about when I walked away and that when we were exploring and when I came back and it was in that little box thing, I just remembered it said something about if you don't pick it up in like 16 minutes or something, it despawns. Not really sure why, but that's what it said. Um, so yeah, that's probably what happened is I was not paying attention, completely ignored it, and it ended up despawning. Never really thought about it until just now, but that's probably how that went. Um, so another fun thing that happened on the way back, on my on my trip back here, uh, I ran into a really, really odd, really odd glitch. Um, I was driving, I ran into, I don't know, some kind of rock, and the bike flipped, and I wish I had reserved recording this, by the time, like, I, I managed to get stable and be like, okay, I could hit the record button, it was all over, and so there, there was no real point. Um, we're gonna pick that up, just because. I don't, I don't want to risk that. Uh, but yeah, the bike flipped up like this, and I'm looking up at the sky, and uh, then I realized I'm in the ground, like, under the ground. And so I was like, great, this is one of those fall through the world glitches. So I got off of the bike, which popped me back up to the surface. But when it did, it like flung me up to the surface. And I was like way up high in the air, kind of like floating down. And I waited till just the last minute and uh, used my jetpack to try and slow myself down. I still ended up with a broken leg. Um, and that's why I ended up using a med pack to fix my leg. But it was just like, what just happened? I just went flying off into space, basically. Um, so yeah, that was interesting. Oh, that's growing. Okay, so they're they're both growing. Yeah, I kind of messed this up too. Did not really plan on. I, I mean, eventually we could actually just seal this back off and then add on. Um, I just didn't have enough materials. Actually, how much wood did I get? Not much. And we don't have much cement either. Um, what is that? One to ones. So that's. 13 cement blocks. Yeah. So we have 13 more cement. We might be able to work with that and make like a... some kind of garden or growing area out there type of thing. Off of this side, maybe. Something like that. Um, let's see. If we go further... Which way, which way takes the clock down? I'm not really sure. Let's find out, because I'd like to, now that we dropped off our stuff, that goes the, the other way, so we need to go this way. And we're in, okay, so we're in open plains. What, do I, what am I hunting? Uh, this is the current one that I think is active, so I'm looking for a spider at night and an alien insect. Uh, open plains at night, the alien, I wish they had pictures of them, so I know what I'm looking for, I'm hunting. And the spiders are found in tropics at night, and I think this is actually kind of the same deal. Alien insect and spider, though, oh, there's... That's probably the humanoid alien insect. Can be found... Oh, no. Can be found in tropical forests at night. Hmm. So this is a different... Oh, this just says alien insect. Ah! Semantics. Okay. Um, so if we go this way... Pulls the clock down, and we stay in open plains. We should be able to encounter a alien insect. It may not be the humanoid one, but it'll be alien. And that actually looks like it's a bordering a tropic forest here. So we might be able to do that at the same time. Yeah, this goes right into a tropical forest. What about the going this way? Is this tropics? No, this is back out to open plains. Okay, so we'll just kind of truck along this way and see if we can't find what we're looking for. 
Okay, so we're still out here. It's kind of dusk, dark night, I guess. I don't really know. It's a little bright for night, but according to the clock, um, I thought I heard something like that. I thought I heard something I hadn't heard before. Ugh. Hey! Ugh. Hit me from there. Successfully killed an alien insect. Okay, so that was the alien insect for the open plains. Now we're gonna head into the tropical to see if we can't find a spider and a humanoid alien. And admittedly, I might just switch up to my assault rifle for this because this is creepy and it's harder to see. Um, the other thing we could try, and I might do it since we have a full air tank, is throw my helmet on and try out these night vision goggles. So if we put our helmet on... Ooh! Very nice! Me likey! Actually, that's... That's kind of a cool thumbnail right there. If I do say so myself. Um... I'm actually kind of surprised that it's not... I, I know I don't want to say this too loud too quickly, but I'm surprised it's not using up my air yet. Um, what is this? Is this a mushroom? Alien Plasma ZR1. We're still in a tropical forest. Man, this is cool, though. This is, like, almost as bright as day. That's great. Night vision goggles for the win. Cobra leaves. Okay. Still in the tropics. Works for me. I'm uh, not really seeing any spiders and or humanoid aliens, though. Which kind of stinks, because it's like, I just need to kill one of you. <laughs> it's, I mean, like, I don't really need anything special. Just need to shoot one of you in the face. Um, is that really too much to ask? I mean mushrooms. Oh yes, and I did level up to an 8, apparently. By picking plants and stuff. Seriously, how come I can never find spiders? I mean, not that... Okay, that sentence came out weird considering that I would never typically go looking for spiders. But, in this particular instance, I need them. It's part of a quest. How come I can't find them? Oh, open plains. This looks more tropical. And um, I did actually get my bike, so fret not, any of you who may be fretting. Uh, like, do I have to stand still for X amount of time or something before one of them spawns, or... How does this work exactly? I've done two different night runs. Oh, I hear something I've never heard before! Ah! I regret it. I regret it. I regret it already. I regret it already. Oh. Never go looking for spiders. Ever. Oh. By the way, this is how I really deal with spiders. Yep. Oh, there's another one! Crap. I feel like there's a, uh, you opened your big mouth kind of thing involved here. Okay, um, anti-radiation emergency antidote, yeah, we use one of these. <sighs> so that, uh, nope, give the spider that, eat it. Oh, I could use the texture plant, crud. Alright, wait a minute, wait, uh, when did I get this? Oh, I just did. Um, let's not talk about it. Yeah, I just got this, okay. That makes more sense. All right, um, so we completed that mission, yay. So I guess the last one is this, which of course I have to kill a spider, and I just killed two, but because it wasn't part of the mission, it doesn't count, because, you know, that's that makes sense. Said no one ever. Um, yeah, a little paranoid now, not gonna lie. These things are creepy. Even with night vision, I have to admit that. 
Uh, they're creepy with night vision goggles. In the dark? Like, just, um, like this? Yeah, no. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. I am not about that. Alright, let's see if I can't get a little bit of a bird's eye view here. Because really, all I need now... Oh, that's one of those things. I saw movement and I was like, ah, ah, is that what I'm looking for? So all I really need now is another spider. Again, can't believe I'm uttering that sentence. Um, and... An alien humanoid insect. Um, I don't actually know which one does more damage, but I think we're just going to stick with this guy until I run out of bullets. Seems like the safer bet. And if I remember reading those mission things right, technically... I mean, obviously spiders are here, but the uh, humanoid alien insects are also supposed to be in the tropics, tropical forests. I think I heard one. So we're gonna get up here. Either that or it's the wind. More than likely, it's not the wind. Dang it! I hate this jetpack recharging thing. There we go. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's one of those blobs. Slime. Excuse me. How dare I? It's not a blob, it's a slime. Oh, there's a hostile outpost over there, apparently. Apparently I've been here before, or at least close enough to have marked that. Um... Yeah. Alright, well, I think we're going to take a break real quick, because I'm getting low on my time. And either I'm going to come back when I find one of these guys, or I'm going to come back at the base when I've given up. Okay, so if it wasn't already obvious, um, I'm clearly not done if you look at the right of the screen. Oh, that was creepy. I was like, something's moving in my base. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, I really like these night vision goggles, by the way. Um, yeah, I mean, that, that, or that. Very nice. Very nice. Um, so yeah, in case you didn't get a good view of my base before, that's what it looks like in all of its concrete glory. Um, so yeah, I think that's gonna wrap it up for us for this episode. We did actually get to complete one objective, or one mission. Ah! It burns! That is so creepy. I would not want that in my house. Ooh, 300 XP, though! I mean... That's almost like an XP farm. Sort of. Kind of. Not that you really need it. Um, but yeah, I think we're gonna wrap things up here for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, and I will see you all next time. Peace!